Hello, welcome to another episode of my Let's Make a PowerPoint Maze game. Um, okay, so last episode I made the first level, and now we're going to go on to making the second level. Now, I decided I don't want to have the, the start button to, you know, take, to, take the next level to start here again, because that's where level one started as well, and I think it's just weird to do that over and over. So I, I, I've been actually kind of wanting it to move a little bit over here. I'll make it actually start from the top left, or right, whatever, I can't, I can't remember where the directions were. So, hang on, let me put my finger over it to make sure it's right. Um, let's actually move this a little bit. Actually, no, it's alright. Well, no, it's not. That's good. Okay. Um, hang on, let me put my two box up. Okay, got that ready. Okay, I'm just gonna copy and paste it. I'm gonna move this over here. And actually, we're gonna give that little button a test. But hang on, let me place this down first. Like so. Um, they kind of get the point where the start button would be, so I don't even really need that anymore. So first level. Okay. Like that. And it works, so. I'm just gonna move this a little bit over here. Um, make another shape, whatever, I'm just gonna do this. This will, Now, this is gonna be the first level where we're actually gonna have, like, little, um, Obstacles. Yes, this maze will have obstacles in it, and the second level will be the first one with it. And I'll show you. This is just going to be like an open and closed door or something like that. I'll figure out how to do this. Um, I'll just go to the animations. Um, we can do this. I want to make sure it's a straight line, and then make it go back. That's good. It kind of moves a little bit, like it kind of sticks out a little bit there, but whatever, it doesn't have to be perfect, I guess. Actually, we'll leave it at two seconds. And make sure to have it repeat until end of slide, and then we'll do it like this. There you go, that's how you make an open and closed door, and we're gonna need to make a hyperlink thing, like a mouse over to the game over screen. We don't need to make another game over screen, you can just have one, so. Let's see how this works. Animations don't really work very well, but yeah, I got it to work. I kinda wanted to make it go a little bit faster, maybe? Um, one second. Let's see how let's see how that goes. It lags, so it's different, you know. That's yeah, that's better. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, but I think that's too high when I go like that. Because you got all this, you know, you have all this space here. I think it's better to... Yeah. I think I can do it like this. Wait, let me get to the middle. There we go. Let's see how this looks. Ah. Uh, we got that little thing sticking up. Hmm. Oh well. Try this. Yeah, that's better. To test it again. Alright, so far so good.
Copy and paste that. Yeah, copy and pasting is gonna be really helpful, especially with this kind of stuff, because I don't I hate making other shapes and all. Wait, let me get to the middle line or something like that. It's where Okay. Gonna do this, where you just go across and you know, side to side. But like I've been looking at videos of like how to make a maze and all, but it's just like people only just like make one little level, and I just kind of want someone to make like a, a actual maze, like just legit, and like put effort into it, and make it look neat and all, and stuff. But there's no videos like that, so it made me really want to make this video. Despite that, I'm using a screen recorder and how it lags, and I don't like that. But it's okay, it's not that bad since I'm using PowerPoint. It's not like an actual game I'm playing, so... Let's make sure this works. Good. Real good. I think we should have some other obstacle. I'm not quite sure how we're gonna do it. Ooh, I think I know what to do. Like this. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have like some little question you're gonna have to answer and there's gonna be like little buttons with like answers. Like oh, may I might have like a math problem or something like that. And then you have to pick the right answer. If you pick the wrong one, you die, so. Or something like that. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's write the question here. Okay, we'll do what, hmm. Let's do seven times seven. And I'm gonna have to figure out what that is, like what the answer is. And I know what the answer is, so we're gonna have like three choices to take. That <laughs> copy, paste, be paste. That's. However, it's good enough. Change its color, make it red, that red, and yeah, that's good enough. This will be red, red, no shadow. Red, and red and no shadow, okay. And now we're gonna put text box with like the questions over them. Okay, we'll do fifty six as one of the as one of the answers. And let me make this smaller, which will be better. Actually that's pretty good. I like that size. So we got fifty six Come on, move. Fine, be an idiot. And 49, which is the right answer for the problem. What did, what did I have on? 14? No, I had it on like 12. Yeah. 49. Actually, it feels like it's... Well, hang on. We'll just look at this. Oh, it's 11. Okay. 49, 11, 49 or... Some, something close to 49. 52. Okay. And they're actually going to click on it. So if they click the wrong one, it'll take them to the game over screen. And hang on, we'll work on that later. And mouse click. 
five felt. And we're gonna have a little door right here, and if they get the right one, the door will open. This. And now, and when they click this, it's gonna disappear. I'm not gonna do any hyperlinks or anything, it's just when you, I'm gonna do a fade, so when, and it make sure it's on click and all. So I'm just, I'll make it go very fast. So it'll be an on click, like hang on. So that I'll get through the door, I'll click that, it'll disappear, and then I'll work on this door. Mm, I know which one I want. I want wipe. So it'll be after previous, um, from left, so it'll be like this. Get through the door, get the right answer, and it'll open it, so. Actually, let's make that door a little bit bigger, because I feel like it. Get through the door, get right answer, open it. Alright. Good, and now we'll just test it out. Well done. Just get over here. Seven times seven. If I get wrong answer, it takes me to there. Just start all over. Whoops. And if I get the right answer, disappear. Wait a minute. What the fuck? Wait, hang on. Hang on. Oh, that's gay. Look, I put it over the wrong answer, it shows the finger, and if I get it, ah, oh, of course it disappeared. Stupid PowerPoint, you suck, dick. Um, look, see, the hand, and just the regular pointer and hand. Okay, well, then fine, we'll do it like this. We'll make it, no link, a, s a mouse over to slide four. Ha, suck it, you thought you could ruin me, PowerPoint failed. Now then. There we go. Okay, okay. Problem solved. We're alright. We're good and golden. No, come on! Just do this for me. Thank you. Idiot. <sighs> nope. There we go. Move the burger. Now this time, it'll take us to slide 7. It's like, it's already I have a hyperlink because I copied and pasted it from le like level 1. So we're just gonna change it. Make it go to slide seven. There we go. And I'll take us to copy paste. Copy. What the fuck? Paste. Level three. And I will have four levels, just so you can remember. The demon is getting closer. Ah! Which is the jump scare, if you didn't know. Also known as the Burger King guy, since I've, you know, made this a scary maze game and a Burger King themed. The jump scare will be the Burger King guy. <laughs> And let's move this, because, you know, PowerPoint's stupid to me, because I accidentally moved the background. 
Um, where should I want the next level to start? I want it to start up here. How far away do I put it from the... Oh, pretty far-ish. That's good enough. We'll work on... Oh my good Jesus! Come on! I swear... I, I hate screen recorders. All my stupid idiots like are all like, oh, I'm not gonna watch a video because you don't use a screen recorder! Well, this is why I don't use screen recorders, so shut up. Alright, now let's demo this. I'm not even gonna cheat, I'm just gonna actual... Do an actual play of this. Carefully. The right one. The demon, it's getting closer. There you go. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this other episode of it where we made level 2, and I'll be making level 3 in the next episode. So see you guys. Bye-bye.